nice having you again here my friends on will edu tech now in the previous video we had looked at this solution uh in question 9a part one where we had where they asked us to make x the subject in the formula okay and here we have our answer so now in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to part two question 9a part two where they're asking hence determine the inverse of the function uh f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 uh, all over x minus 4 and if you notice they have put out they have qualified the statement by saying where x is not equal to 4 because really if x is equal to 4 if you should substitute uh, 4 here in in this equation you would have 4 minus 4 which would be equal to 0 and as I've always stated in math it's bad manners to divide by 0 okay my friends so uh, um, really it doesn't make sense and we'll be looking at future videos uh, that will prove that to you okay now let's just quickly get into this uh, here they are saying that hence and this word hence means that they are restricting us it means that we have to use the result from the previous answer meaning the answer that we got in part one okay here x equal to 4y plus 3 all over y minus 2 we are going to have to use that answer to determine the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 uh, over x minus 4 now let me just give you a quick intuition based on, on what's happening or the, uh, the whole idea behind what's happening here. Notice in the, f the first equation, the very first one, and, uh, and I'll underline it here or put it in this yellow box, this yellow rectangular box. Now, if you notice that equation, they said y is equal. They gave us y. Let me just pull that down a bit. They gave us y is equal to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4 okay now basically what is happening here my friends let me just quickly point this out to you now the y value here this y value here is really called the range okay this y value is the range uh, and the range simply mean ordered pairs all right now the x value which is the domain and let me just quickly highlight that now these x values they are called the do main values okay so let's just join them together and just let them let's just make a quick note these are called your domain so when working with functions we have the range values and we have the domain values now basically they have asked us to find the inverse if you notice they said in part two here hence determine the inverse of the function and they state the function there now inverse this word i just want to deal with this word quickly the inverse now another notation that we could use for the inverse and let me just make a quick note here inverse of a function you could say since f is the function f of x they are asking us to find the inverse which is f to the negative one of x okay of x so let's just put it there in bracket of x so they're asking us to find the inverse of x no the reason why i've made a note of this guys my friends if you notice when asked to find the inverse of a function which is this function basically what you're doing in the end you will have you're switching around your x and y values or you're switching around your range and domain values you're interchanging them so basically what i'll do um i've transposed and if you notice in the previous lesson and i still have it over here what we did we transpose if you notice we started out with y in the original here and then after we have transposed we had made x the subject so this simply is saying my friends that since I have already made x the subject in the previous exercise, then I can just simply take, I can just, let me change the color. I can just simply take my answer that I got there, which is x is equal to 4y plus 3 all over y minus 2 okay now if you notice what is happening this would be this this is really my inverse of the function that I found because I have switched around meaning I've transposed I've made X the subject so basically what I can do since they're asking me for the inverse of the function of X wherever I see Y in in this equation now in the final answer I can just changed it with the 
f inverse okay so basically that's what i'll be doing now um quickly wherever i see y in this i'm going to change it with the inverse as they have stated there the inverse of x the inverse of the function so i can simply say x is equal to 4 and in this case if you notice 4 is multiplying y so i can remove my y and replace it with the f inverse okay so this is adding to 3 if you notice i've just added the 3 there and all of this is over really the inverse wherever y is i'm just going to change y to the inverse it's as simple as that my friends uh, let me just put that in a bracket and i'm going to subtract 2 okay now since i've replaced the y with my inverse okay my f inverse now the next thing I'll, I'll be doing, since they have asked us for the inverse of the function, now I am going to switch places. So I can make a quick note of that. I am going to switch around the x and the f inverse. Okay, so wherever x is, I'm going to replace that with the f inverse. And wherever the f inverse is, I'm going to replace it with x to get the inverse of the function. So simply all I'm doing here now, I'm going to say f since i have a single x out there i'm going to replace it with my f inverse of x now would be equal to um let me just change the color i would have a four there four and if you notice i have a x there so i'm going to interchange i'm just switching around now i'm going to say four x plus three and that would be all over i have a f inverse there in the denominator so i'm going to switch it around with the x and I'm going to minus 2 from that. And that's our answer. Okay. So that would be the inverse. F inverse of x. Okay. Of the function. F of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4. Okay my friends. Hope that was helpful. But however if you still have a question. Feel free to make your post. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye bye.